Hello everybody, Sir Monks UT are back again with Code Geass. We're on episode 9 right now of season 1. Um, and in the last episode, we had a sort of terrorist sort of uh, operation kind of thing going on from the Japan Liberation Front. Um, or at least a sort of offshoot of the Japan Liberation Front. I believe that um, one of the higher up guys didn't agree with what the... the the leader of the group uh, wanted, so he probably like took like a bunch of them, like a bunch of line uh, like-minded people, and did their own thing. I believe that's what happened. You'll have to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but um, that's what I feel like happened. Um, yeah, but that terrorist uh, attack, you know, that was, you know, had a bunch of, of civilians hostage, including um, the girls from the uh, the student council and whatnot. Um, so yeah, obviously, like, uh, we had the Britannian Empire, obviously, in the, like, at the main forefront, like, just trying to kind of ease their way in, trying to find some sort of way they can get in and, and save the hostages and whatnot. Um, obviously, so, like, Suzaku so was there and whatnot, he ended up being, you know, one of the, uh, a key part of trying to get them back, I would say. And, of course, Lelouch, um, you know what I mean, H him knowing that the student council members were there, had to improvise, try and make his own sort of route. And in doing so, he ended up uh, actually sort of with a very temporary line to get with the Britannian Empire in order to save them. Um, and whilst he did that, <laughs> you know what I mean, he saved them all, he also uh, used it as a way to project to... Um, to pretty much, I imagine all of Japan that he is a figurehead, not to be threat, like uh, not to be threatened by. You know what I mean? He's like he is essentially fighting for the people without weapons and whatnot, essentially. So, and they go by the Black Knight. So that's really cool. Um, you know what I mean? I love the three-way sort of uh, thing they've got going on. I'm sure the Japan Liberation Front will, um, you know, will come back into the forefront very soon. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens with them. But we're just going to get an episode nine and see what uh, see what's new. So let's go. Uh, Colin, I mean Miss, forgive me. I didn't wish to wake you again. I'm sorry. It was a step ladder this time. It broke. We just get it cleaned up and be quick about it. I have to leave for school. Mistress, you've been attending school quite a bit lately. Making any friends there? I don't see how that's any of your business. Huh? Just go, will you? Your payment will be transferred to your wife's account. Princess Cornelia is a soldier. This sort of thing doesn't interest her all that much. <laughs> 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 Hit the lights! Turn them on! You're... you're the... The EU's starting an offensive along the El Alamein front. We can't go on dragging our feet around here. I want to solidify domestic affairs. It's high time Area 11 was made a satellite nation. For that to happen, we need to stamp out terrorism, of course. But another major problem is the rampant abuse of refrain amongst the Elevens. Productivity is plummeting. It's coming in on the Chinese Federation's Kyushu route. We have to put an end to it. What about the Black Knights and Zero? I'll let them roam free a bit longer. I owe them that for saving your life. However, upon my return... <laughs> Once I've cleaned up this area, I'm entrusting it to you. Man, this double life sure is a killer. Come on, Suzaku, hold him down! Damn it, Suzaku, cut it out! Stop it! I'm not kidding! Sorry, Lelouch, but it's the president's mm -hmm. orders. Yeah, like you're not enjoying this at all? Will you hold <laughs> oh, what on earth are they doing? Good morning. Good morning, I guess. Huh? I, I set some stuff aside for you. Over here. To make up for all my getting so upset before. Take your pick. What? For me? She doesn't need a costume. What? You're already wearing a mask, right? <laughs> you really are a riot, you know that? You ought to be on television. <laughs> what you mm, that's the price of friendship. The romance of the three kingdoms. It matters not that we were born apart. Upon this day, we die as one. Is that your idea of a love quote? If I go down, then we all do. That's a little dark. 
Right, Suzaku? Huh? I'm glad that we could all be together again. You know, like this. <laughs> oh my god. Ever since we made our big splash at the hotel jacking, the Black Knights have taken the world by storm. We've become a friend to the weak, just as Zero proclaimed we would. The whole world? I thought it was just Japan. Civilians, no bearing military, criminal syndicates, corrupt politicians and profiteers. If the law would not punish them, then we would. Because our leader Zero had killed Prince Clovis. There are many in our ranks who wish to know his true identity, myself included. But if we push too hard, I suspect that he would vanish. Hmm. I'm sure Without I'll come out in the open at some point. I'm fairly certain we'd be finished. Even Kyoto has said that they would send the Black Knights the Gurren Mark II. To those would-be Robin Hoods? They're not part of the Resistance. Killing Kusakabe was proof of that. The Colonel killed himself, didn't he? Well, I hear they didn't try to stop him. In any case, Lieutenant Colonel Toto, we can't let this stand. Madam President, I just dropped by to give you something. Huh? Where would you like me to show her to? The parlor, perhaps? Or maybe... We'll be in my room. As you wish. Oh, I heard you had a friend down here. I was sure it would be a boy. Out all night and missing school. Not to mention all your visits to the ghetto. Oh yeah, You're she's like half Britannian man, isn't she? No fighting one's blood, is there? <laughs> You're the one who's enjoying Dad not being around here, aren't you? <laughs> oh dear. What have I done? Did she do this on purpose? What's wrong with you? I thought I'd better give them to you off of school grounds. So my secret's out then, isn't it? That I'm actually an eleven and Britannian half-breed. That was my stepmother down there. My real mother was that clod of a maid who knocked over the vase. My mother is such a fool. In the end, she wound up a servant. She doesn't have any real skills. And no matter who's ridiculing her, all she can do is laugh like it's nothing. She didn't have to choose to stay in this house, you know? She's just clinging to some old lover who's jilted her. Or oh, she's staying really because Karen's there. Don't, you? don't worry, I won't lie. I'm always hungry for secrets. But I'd never talk about this. Wow, really? How's that? Well, good thing the Black Knights were there to save him. That's all I can say. If they wanted to catch criminals, they could have joined the police force, you know. It's not I the don't same. I wonder. Because the police wouldn't allow them to they go in like that. I don't think the cops are up to the job. I tend to agree. The police may not be that effective right now, but they could evoke change from within. Yeah, and in the process, they get all tangled up in red tape and bureaucracy. Anyway. I guess I gotta go back to the base pretty soon. See you around, Shirley. Uh, uh, see you later. Back to base. Now that was an interesting choice of words. <laughs> go back. Implying that's where he thinks he belongs. Refrain? It's a psychotropic. Makes you think you've gone back to the past. Must be all the rage here in Japan. Yeah, well... Who doesn't long for the days before the occupation, right? <laughs> Who really makes off Lelouch! No, there's five of them. You wouldn't stand a chance at all. So you think I should just ignore it? Go on, take a good look at that 11. If we intervene and help him win, he wouldn't be able to sell a thing tomorrow. It was his choice to become a Britannian slave. Got a problem over there? Not feeling sorry for this 11, are you? Nah, they feel the same way we do, don't you guys? Not quite. But you're tired of beating up Elevens now, aren't you? <laughs> I wonder... Yeah, this is boring. You guys want to hit the arcade? I got no cash. In some ways, Area 11 is better off now than the old Japan ever was. Being made a colony of the Empire has stabilized its military and economic position in the world. Right. Elevens can even attain full citizenship through the legal process. Just a question of pride, really. Though, I can certainly understand why they'd resist. What does Lelouch Lamprouge think about it all? What do you want to do? Nothing. You know, you've got a lot of brains, but you don't seem to be doing much with them. He could lead a better life as long as he bows his head to Britannia. <laughs> yeah. 
I was thinking it was the same way with her. You must think you're pretty cool, huh? Just playing the critic and judging the world from the sidelines? Oh, she... She's taking... Ref she must be using that refrain stuff. Is this whole thing true, though? That you can't remember anything about when Private Suzaku Kudurugi was taken? I don't expect you to believe me. No, it's just that... During the whole Shinjuku incident, I suffered some sort of memory lapse also. You did? By the time oh, no. I regained my senses, my Sutherland had been stolen. If she remembers who it is. But right before that entire gap in my memory, I remember running into some high school kid. So you Shit. think it was that student? Shit. I can't remember his face, but there may still be a way to get to the bottom of this. There's the signal from Zero. <laughs> Black Knights have arrived! Nightmares really are amazing. Each one is an army unto itself. No shit. They must have repaired it, I guess. That's right, I'm getting married next month. And promoted. Rain. I'm studying abroad. I can't believe I got in. Careful. It's dangerous to run like that. That's a mother. Mother. <laughs> That's why she just laughs every, really, everything Naldo, off. Please, I need you to keep an eye on your little sister. My God, how weak a woman are you, mother? First you give in to Britannia, then to a man, and now this. <laughs> the night police. Night police. A mother's not in the best place here. I knew it. I knew she was there for Colin. I knew it. That's why you stayed in his house. I'm so happy for you. You can finally become a Britannian now, Colin. Nobody will ever be able to hurt you now, darling. Mother, your sentence. You got 20 years. But you wait. I'm working to change things when you get out. Mm. I swear to you. I'll make a world where you and I can live a normal life again. So please, Mother. Hang in there. <gasps> Hang in there, Colin. My little girl. <gasps> Don't you worry. <gasps> I will. I promise you. <laughs> All right. Episode nine. I'm g fucking. I'm at, least, I'm at least glad it ended like that because I figure like she. W <sighs> I mean, I, I knew it, like, I, I, to be honest, I don't know how Colin didn't realise that before, like, she, how, like, um, how her mother was, like, she was staying around because Colin was there, um, and it, it makes sense now, like, the reason why she was just, like, laughing like everything off was because she was on this refrain stuff um <laughs> yeah the first thing i wrote down was like with colin was like where the, where the hell is she <laughs> it's like yeah because she's half britannian man isn't she so um yeah so she does have like an estate i guess and uh and whatnot um but yeah it makes me wonder then, like, what is a what is her dad like? Um, because the stepmother seems like a, a right bitch. Like, I don't know. Like, I have this feeling like the the dad might be. Uh, well, I don't know because, the, like, the father could just be like you know could have used um, Callan's mother or whatnot, and uh, she just ended up getting pregnant, but. You know, I, I don't know, because Colin... I 
Hmm. I, I don't know because it, it could be the other way. It could be like it's, it's like her father isn't um, isn't all that actually like bad a guy like bad a Britannian. We'll have to, but, but you know, I, I I don't know if we'll ever get to see him. But oh well. Um, Cornelia mentioned the EU. Um, and then later, there was the Three Kingdoms thing brought up by Molly, who, like, when she was, like, quoting something. And I believe that must be, that must, like, relate to, like, a real thing and not just, like, a story. Because I'm, I'm, I think it's, the Three um, Kingdoms probably could relate to Britannia, the EU, and the Chinese Federation, right? Um, so are they all in the midst of a battle against each other, like a world war kind of scenario? Or... Were they saying that the EU's like getting ready for battle or whatever? So is it like, because I don't know, because like maybe the E, uh, uh, there must be like, I don't know, because I don't, because we we haven't seen anything from them, so I don't know what relations they they would have. Like, would the EU and Chinese Federation like possibly team up or like ally with each other against Britannia stuff like that? Um, it's interesting though. But Cornelia, Cornelia was um saying that she wanted Area Eleven to become like a satellite nation um what does she mean by that satellite nation hmm i don't know what it, what, it, what it would mean like Maybe like gather all the resources in Japan to like create a sort of sort of industry around satellite stuff. I guess maybe uh, like around that kind of technology. And if you have like a whole like a mass like you know a whole country be just specifically for that one thing, it would be a lot of um, it would probably do a lot for you. But I don't know what specifically satellite nation would mean other than that. So. Um, I like how Lelouch is trying to like push Suzaku slightly, like trying to almost to like to almost just push Suzaku like in favor of the stuff Lelouch is doing. Like he's trying to push slightly by agreeing with like what the Black Knights did and stuff like that, because obviously that like it's him, you know, and uh, Suzaku doesn't know that it's Lelouch. Um, so, you know, I think Lelouch is, he's almost using their friendship as a, as a way to, as a way to get through to him, like, you know what I mean? But, um, I don't know, I think Suzaki was just totally on that train of just, like, that train of thought of, like, you know, he, he, he thinks what he, what, Suzaki believes that what he, what he is doing is right. He thinks that the Black Knights are not doing it, sort of legit enough it's not systematic because it was just like what he would like um but it just it just it goes to show i think suzaku was incredibly naive to think that like oh you could just do it through the police you couldn't you couldn't do it through the police the police would not allow like for example the um you know the the like the police wouldn't have been allowed inside you know what i mean if if it was <coughs> If what like what Suzaku said was the bit like was that apparently according to him like oh you should have done it through the police it's like well then you could have just well you can say goodbye to to all of your friends and the, the student council then because the police wouldn't be allowed in there would they <laughs> the only reason why they let the Black Knights in was because Zero was there you know what I mean and and they didn't want to give up that opportunity to speak to Zero so you know it, it's I think in a lot of ways, Suzaku is incredibly naive, and I think he's he's he is um, he is too like he's too goody two shoes, like too to a fault. Like he's so on board with this idea that oh no, you've got to do everything like the like the most right way. Like you know what I mean? He's like he's lawful, he's lawful good, right? That's what like alignment he would he would be. Um. And I just, I just think, you know, it's, 
it's to a fault. Like... That's why I said, like, a few episodes back, that... Um... I was wondering, like, what what would he would do if he if he was being like told to like hold back or like wait for like a more systematic style approach, and one of his friends died because of it, like all these friends would these, like one of his friends would die because of it, instead of him doing his own thing and going and going against the system. But in that case, his friend would like would survive. Like, what choice would he make? I feel like the only way to actually give him some sort of like um to give him something to think about like that would have to happen like one of his friends would have to die um with him knowing that like he could have done something and he and he chose not to because he thought it was the right like you know what I mean he's a bit too good to a fault. I think it's it's um it's gonna end up fucking him over eventually. Um But yeah, we have this drug call refrain and it kinda takes them back to a, to the past. Like it it almost like it's like it feels like they're there. <laughs> like that like almost like they've um like they haven't like they're in a dream trance like state. Um which is uh which is interesting. Um And we learned that Callan like had a big is was that um because Naruto like that I'm sure I've heard that name before that rings a bell I think was that the guy in episode one who she was in the um in the uh, the the truck with I think it was you know. But I can't remember because I remember, like, I remember specifically in episode one there was a little shot of like a, a like a pot, like a picture, with that with what I assumed was Naoto's family on it, or at least that's what I think he, he was called Naoto, wasn't it? And I didn't, I clearly haven't put the two together, like, of what that what was who was in that picture. I clearly didn't put two and two together that Carlin was in it. So, I guess like, that, that must have been who, yeah. I'm sure it is because I, I do. Now it does ring a bell. Um, we've got the night police. So now we're we're seeing like because we haven't seen. I thought it was a militaristic nation, like you know, like the police wasn't exactly a, a thing. It was just more like you know there was military on like kind of sort of uh, on like every corner kind of thing, like and that's how they worked it, as opposed to like actually having police out there. But there is actually a poli like police. Um, I can only assume that they're completely, they're completely um, like funded and are like behind out, like behind Britannia. Like, they've got to be right. So it makes me wonder if they are corrupt. Um, there's got to be like some corrupt sort of. Well, you wouldn't. Well, in this situation, you wouldn't call it corrupt because they they're to be corrupt would be to go against the system and technically they are going for I'd imagine they're going for the Britannian system but they're kind of they are kind of corrupt in a way that they're they, like let's say there was a murder involving a Britannian and an 11 like if they knew that the Britannian did it they would probably like let them off I can see that happening like just act like oh no it was self defence when it clearly wasn't it's shit like that Um, I can see that being the case um Yeah. The um Collins Muller's been sentenced to twenty years, I guess that's for the drug use. Um Which is a shame. But it gives Carlin more motivation to go like to go along with um Lelouch's like, you know, black knights and whatnot, because now it's like, well Lelouch is doing this all fundamentally, right? And then you've got Callan who's doing it for a mother. So, you know what I mean, like, th those two are kind of on a very similar path, um, and the reasons are very similar as well, so, you know what I mean, as long as, uh, Lelouch can take over, um, t 
take down the Britannian Empire and lead it and whatnot, well, Carlin's mother will be let loose because Carlin will be a part of it, which is what, uh, which which is good, which is good for them. Um, you know, I imagine at some point that there's going to be a revelation with Carlin knowing that Lelouch is actually zero, and I think it's not going to be like a reveal like where she where she like like finds out like. I don't know, like, Zero takes off, like, I don't know, Zero's mask is blown off, whatever, and then Carlin's like, oh my god, it was Lelouch the whole time. I think Carlin might put two and two together. The reason for this is because it was when, it was with the bullies, right? The the Britannian people who are beating down that uh, hot dog vendor guy. Um, and how the, how the bullies, like, suddenly changed, you know? And there, like, she was around when that other shit was going down. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this, it's the same thing. It's the same way. So, it just depends on whether she's smart enough to figure it out. Because she wasn't smart enough to figure out that her mother was staying with them as a servant so that she could be with Callan and, you know what I mean? She wasn't smart enough to figure that out, uh, but there's a lot of emotion involved there. Hopefully, she's smart enough to figure out, like, you know, Lelouch is, is zero. Um, and possibly put, like, a sort of situation where only Callan knows who zero really is. Whereas everybody else in the Black Knights doesn't. Or ev everyone else, period, doesn't. So, yeah. Yeah, I have to say. Um, I mean, speaking of those bullies, I wonder if they will ever go and beat down another 11. Like, because we don't know the time limit yet, because that uh, girl that, that's in school is still, like, doing the thing every day, right? So, you know, uh, as long as there isn't a time limit, which uh, possibly, the, I think there probably will be. It just might be a while. Um, I don't know how long it's been going for at the moment. That, there hasn't really been a time period, so I'm not sure yet. But, um... I don't know, she might have been going out like a month, maybe. Um, you know, but his words exactly were like, you know what I mean, like you you don't wanna you don't wanna beat down elevens or whatever like that. So, you know, I'd imagine that has to like that order will ring true for as long as there is a you know, for as long as the time limit is. So we'll see, yeah. Anyway, yes, really good, really good. We're gonna um We've got some like real like nice sort of Callan um uh exposition a lot of uh a lot of information regarding her and her family so you know what i mean that's cool that's cool um we'll have to see where that goes from now on all right but until next time uh i shall see you all later bye bye